Hello, my name is Jan Ketil Röth and I will in this video show you how you could use a symbolization called categorized symbolization to better be able to separate several categories within a feature layer. I want to do that using a polygon feature of water bodies in the watershed Lerfossen in Trondheim. As typically done, if you want to change something, you can double click on it. And this little square here represents then the current symbolization of this layer. I double click on it and I see that this is symbolized as a single symbol. So that means this blue color here is used for the entire layer. If I want to have a unique symbol for unique classes, I can do so selecting the categorized symbolization. Then we need to select one of the attributes or the columns from the attribute table that holds some values to be categorized. So in this case, that will be the object type. As default, the color ramp here would be random colors. And we click on classify here to see how this would then be. Click apply to see how this will look in the map. The green part here is the object type river and the purple is ocean. And we have some very small polygons representing lakes and channel. And all of the values from the object type value so there is no need for all other categories. Now these may be strange colors for water bodies so instead of having random colors you could select this to be for instance um, blue colors. This would however indicate that there is an order of these categories which is not true for categories um, so instead of having this increased darkness of the symbols, we can change this by changing the ramp of the colors. A color ramp typically goes from one color to another color, a light color to a dark color, either using a continuous color ramp or using a discrete ramp. So it's a bit hard to avoid this ordered symbolization, but we can try just picking another color for the first color here and see how this affects then the symbolization. And we can click on apply to see how this looks in the map. 